Hi guys, welcome to another episode. I'm so excited. Halloween and Dia de los Muertos is around the corner, one of my favorite holidays. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own non-toxic face makeup. So Halloween loves to smother you and your children with this cheap and toxic Halloween makeup. And it's usually the last thing we pick up at the end of the register. Sadly, there's no ingredients listed and it's loaded with lead, heavy metals, and tons of other toxins that can irritate your skin. So it's up to us guys to change this. And that's why I'm here to help you with your own DIY safe and non-toxic Halloween makeup. So here's the list of ingredients you will need and I also listed links down below of where you can purchase these. So the first is zinc based sunscreen, beauty or diaper balm, yes if it's good enough for your baby's bottom it's good enough for your skin, loose mineral powder pigments, makeup brushes, arrowroot powder, a large dish or painting palette, and lastly, non-activated spoon, so no metal. So let's start off of making our base, and we're mixing equal parts of all three ingredients. We have arrowroot, your zinc base sunscreen, your diaper balm, or your beauty balm. So here I'm using the Honest diaper balm. And then I add a little bit of the Beauty Balm uh, just to get the right consistency. Now we mix these all together until we're satisfied with the texture. If you feel that you need more text, um, a thicker texture, add more arrowroot. Now remember, arrowroot is our thickening powder. So if you need it a little thicker, you can always add more or you can add more balm, which is kind of like a Vaseline base if you need it um, to be spreadable easier. So once you have your base, you can start mixing in all the desired colors you would like. Um, so we started off with the darkest color we had, which was brown. Uh, this brown is so dark that it looks black, so we're gonna use that in our, uh, for our black. Every texture is going to be different. Um, to your needs. So as you need it to be a little more flexible or spreadable, um, add more of your diaper balm or your, your beauty balm. Uh, since it has more of a Vaseline texture, uh, this will help it slide across um, you know, your canvas easily. So mix those away. It may take a little while to get your right consistency. So for our sugar skull, we're starting off with the white base. And to achieve the brightest white that we could, uh, we went ahead and applied our mixture first. And after that, we patted it down before it dried up with the arrowroot powder, uh, just as if uh, it would be translucent powder, but arrowroot is a little whiter. So once you have your white base, we're going in with the darkest color we have, which is dark brown. It looks black on our canvas. So we went ahead and outlined our nose and our sugar skull eyes. We blacked that out. Lovely, lovely. Thank you, Kathy, for doing our fabulous makeup tutorial. So the best part about this dark brown color is you can use a thinner brush to fill in any smaller details uh, for your uh, makeup design. So here Gati is drawing in the teeth for our sugar skull and here she has a great artistic hand, very steady. So we're finishing up our teeth so once that's done, we have the base of our sugar skull design, then you can go in and create your own little motifs that will be unique to your own sugar skull. So we're starting off with our, our floral design and we're adding eye detail, eye luminance around the eye and we're finishing off the design with some vines that go well with our flowers. 
quiet creates a steady hand. And of course, when you're the one getting painted, you don't really, you can't really talk anyway. <laughs> so no cheese mid talking during this session, at least not on my end. <laughs> Okay, so we're finishing up with smaller details around our flower design. Uh, here you can add any rhinestones or glitter to your design. And lastly, contouring. We're contouring our sugar skull. Um, and here she goes in with our same dark brown. It totally looks black from this end. And we're doing the cheekbone construction. And then she goes around and outlines it. Se baila así, se goza más. So as we're finishing off our design, I just want to thank my great friend Gathi for doing my makeup. Fabulous work. She's such a talented artist and I'll leave her Instagram down below. So with that, I'd like to wish you all a safe holiday. I hope this was informative to you and don't forget to subscribe.